Welcome. In this series, we'll be discovering the most amazing places in the largest country on Earth, where life sometimes resembles a theatre, and a theatre can tell a lot about Russian life. Every morning, there is rehearsal. With more than 150 years of opera and ballet performances, the renowned Mariinsky Theatre is a celebrated symbol of Russia's northern capital. I can't imagine St. Petersburg without the Mariinsky Theatre, as I can't imagine this theatre anywhere else. I've done a lot of walking around St. Petersburg and it's beautiful, it's melancholy, it's dirty, and I love it. This is my home theatre, this is my home city, the Mariinsky's my life. Founded in 1703 by Peter the Great, St. Petersburg sees itself as Russia's cultural capital. Tradition is kept alive at the Mariinsky Theatre with its constellation of opera and ballet stars, producers and designers. We try to make everything by hand because that really allows you to put your heart into your creation. Curtain sets and other scenery are made in the rooftop hall before being lowered onto the main stage, where masterpieces by Tchaikovsky, Mussorgsky and Rimsky-Korsakov were premiered. This is the theatre where Russian opera was born and thrived. It's like La Scala for the Italians, a stage that's a focal point for everything great. That's what the Mariinsky Theatre is, not just for St. Petersburg, but for Russia as a whole. In the wardrobe department, they're never short of work, creating stage costumes for up to a dozen premieres each season. Many foreign designers come to St. Petersburg to see their creations come to life. I've worked in places where nobody cares about the production anymore because it's just like a factory producing. And I know this, this house produces a lot of work, but I never feel that I'm working in a factory. Um, there's a kind of un unembarrassed enthusiasm for creativity, <laughs> which is a real joy. Mm. By the evening, the stage is set for another performance. Boris Godunov, an opera by Modest Mussorgsky based on Alexander Pushkin's tragedy, has been running here since the 19th century. For this new production, British director Graham Vick sets the classical plot in modern Russia, contemplating decades of turbulent power struggles, social injustice and brutality following the collapse of the Soviet Union. Well, it actually does look like that from abroad, whether we like it or not. This is how we Russians are today. As the golden age of Russian culture keeps shaping its national identity, its classical heritage remains as pertinent as ever. Human nature doesn't change that much. It's the same today as it was three centuries ago. Power, vanity, greed. History is always repeating itself. From Russia's northern capital, we're now heading south to the Caucasus Mountains. See you in two weeks' time in the next edition of Russian Life.